sewing patterns with you. In today's video I'm going to show you how to make this lovely top. It's called the Eva Top by Nicole who goes by the name of Cool Stitches. You can find her Instagram here and I will also link down below her website. What I like the most about her shop is that she puts all of her sewing patterns available for free and then you can decide how much you want to pay for them. So that's really really cool. So let's go and show her some love. I promise you they really are worth it. There are two options available uh, for this pattern. I kind of mix them uh, all together, <laughs> really, because I liked everything from both sides. Um, so I decided to, to go for the darts, to go for the bias binding over here, which is what I like the most about the pattern. And also I decided to go for the three different panels at the bottom front. So of course I'll show you how to do all of these steps um, little by little, so we'll get to the end together. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, I will really appreciate it. And that's it, let's go! For this project you'll need one front with darts, one middle front, two side fronts, one back, one neckband, one binding strip and of course two sleeves. Cool! I'm starting off by tracing the markings of my darts onto the front piece. It's one point in the center and two other points on the edges and I also like to connect them with an erasable marker. I then pin them together so they are in place and I also like to create a line so I know where the stitches are going to be. Once they are pinned I just double check that they look equal from the front and I'll stitch them together. I usually like to start sewing them from the edge and keep it in the line that I've just marked with my marker perpendicular to myself so I know I'm going to go straight. I also leave a long trail of threads at the end so I can knot it together and secure it in place. I will now pin the two side fronts to the middle front panel, right sides together. I will sew them together with a 1cm seam allowance and also serge them after that so they are also looking nice and neat from the inside. Now moving on to the most exciting part, I'm taking the lower front panel and the top front panel and pin them together with wrong sides facing. I'm taking this step little by little, pinning first of all the center point and then the two edges and then I work my way through the curved edge really little by little. And the secret here is beating as many pins as you possibly can imagine because it will make it a lot easier. I'm now putting the bias strip to the mix, placing it right sides together with the top front. 
and again same technique here starting from the center and working my way through the edges little by little and I'm just replacing the pins here I will now grab needle and thread and start basting these three layers together I found this step quite relaxing to be fair and I love how sewing teaches me to take a step back relax and enjoy the process I can now start removing the pins and serge it together with my overlocker. I just take it again little by little as this stage is probably one of the most delicate of the whole construction. I'm now folding the bias strip over itself twice and I pin it down making sure that it's laying flat.
now sew the binding down with a straight stitch. I'm now pinning the front and back at the shoulders, right sides facing. And sew them together with a 1cm seam allowance and also sergi edges with my overlocker. I'm now pinning the sleeves to the bodice. I'm starting from the center notch and then moving on to the edges and also then working my way through all of the space in between with more pins. And again, sew them together with a 1cm seam allowance and also finishing the edges with my overlocker. So we are almost at the finish line. I'm now moving on to pinning the side seams together, right sides facing. And because it's pretty much a straight line, I don't bother with the normal stitching and I jump straight onto the overlocker. I just make sure that I follow a 1cm seam allowance. Moving on to the neckband, I start dividing into four parts the neckline and then I do the same with the neckband itself, which I have already folded in half. I now insert the neckband into the neck hole, aligning the raw edges right sides together. I pin it all around, stretching the neckband as I go along to make sure it's evenly distributed. I now sew it in place using my overlocker.
I finally hem the sleeves and the bottom of the top by folding the edge of 1.5 cm towards the wrong side and I sew it using a twin needle. And voila, the Eva top is now finished. You can go and wear it with pride, as I do almost every day since I made it. <laughs> so thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one. Bye bye.